Right, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. My name is Jay, welcome to the channel. I really wasn't going to come out today, not because of the weather, because it has been sort of on and off, but I've put my Gore-Tex on, so I'm all prepared for that anyway. It's been, what has it been, two, three weeks uh, since I came back from Spain. Uh, videos up on the channel, one and two. Uh, what a fantastic, what an awesome time I had over there. Um, but something's something's happened since I've come back and I can't quite put my finger on it. When I say something's happened, I don't mean anything sort of physical or anything like that. I've just lost all enthusiasm for riding the bike and for doing vlogs. Mentally, my, my head is not in the game. Sometimes with YouTube as well, there's, there's too many politics involved. People thinking that they're better than other people and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm not getting to that. I just haven't got the spark of, of wanting to go out and record vlogs or but not it's not only that it's not going on the motorbike either so I don't know I don't think it's like something I'm gonna give up but I, I sort of have to reassess where I am with things I love I love documenting I love editing that's probably the best side I like doing is the editing side uh, teaching myself new things uh, learning off other people trying to improve my game um, I know there's a lot bigger better channels out there have got exceptional um, editing skills but I like to think that mine are sort of you know pretty all right for people to watch and stuff like that and yeah ISOs with cameras and audio and stuff like that you know might not be the greatest but it is I, I do my best I do my best but I just I just don't know what it is I've, I've been to Spain I had a the, a fantastic time in Spain it was absolutely awesome I definitely want to go back again and do that I definitely want to be doing more tours as well so touring around even in this country just just getting the camp you know getting the tent out going out on the bike um, a couple of days down in Wales Scotland whatever but yeah I'm just I just don't know what it is I just I just feel like quite deflated at the minute and quite I, I, I'm not I wouldn't say mental health is involved although it, it could be sort of seen as mental health um, and it's not certainly not a, a cry for help or for people to say how are you feeling and stuff like that it, that's fine it's nothing nothing to do with that but I just thought I would have this massive enthusiasm to get back on the bike because it's been like nearly three weeks and I've not been on and I literally honestly I literally had to force myself to get on the bike today and I just thought I'd stick the cameras on as well and I'll enjoy the editing so that that's sort of something to look forward to if you like but yeah I just don't know what the problem is I don't know what the issue is I hope I've um, placed the microphone in the right place as well it's okay it's not it's not peaking and it's not uh, getting too much wind noise because it is quite a windy but while I'm out as well I'll show you I'll just show you some bits that I've uh, I bought for this bike um, that I've added on for this bike and, and a couple of things that I've got sort of like uh, well I've got some couple of bits in the garage as well I just think sometimes you know doing this YouTube and stuff and socials and keeping up with everything it's you can't take your eye off the ball for a minute because you just get forgotten about or people won't be clicking on your videos and you've just got to keep it going it's a constant game and it, and it is so tiring sometimes it really is uh, the wife's away as well she's gone away for a couple of weeks with the daughter she, they've gone to Italy a um, bit of a trade-off for me going to Spain actually well it wasn't really because uh, I was invited to go to Italy but I thought it'd be nice for them to to spend some time together so there but when I've seen the itinerary of where they're going oh my god all the all the different places that they're going I am a little bit jealous to be fair so but uh, I wouldn't say jealous I'd say more envious because it's the same similar thing I've got stuff to do in the house I could probably throw myself and do that to be fair which I probably will do at some point um, but yeah it's a Saturday now it's just a Saturday afternoon it's after one o'clock I the, the, the intention was to go out this morning at early morning and go for breakfast but after this edit I don't know if I'm just gonna have to take a step back and just reset a little bit but you would have thought I'd have done that when I went to Spain so I don't know uh, work's not a problem at the minute, work's quite relatively um, slow at the minute 
I just want to say thank you as well to two people, you know where you are, I'm not going to say your names, but two people who gave me the opportunity to go to the ABR as well, so thank you for that. Um, it would have been nice to go, but as I've said earlier, the, the wife's on holiday uh, and I'm on pet sitting duties, which I've completely forgotten about. So yeah, so thanks for that. Thanks for creating that opportunity. Thanks for making me your first call to, to offer me that opportunity. I really appreciate that. But it's something I would definitely be planning in for next year. Uh, the only reason I wasn't going to do it this year originally was because I was going to Spain and it was just a bit too much, you know, to have Spain. And then I've, we've got Wild Bad Weekender as well at the end of July. I know it's only a weekend, but don't pull out. Look at me. Uh, and one thing I would say as well, if you've not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe because it does help me. I know it's just a click for you guys. You can turn the notifications off so you don't get any notifications if, if you just like to dip into the channel. But if you like to uh, watch it religiously, then just please just hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. You can turn all notifications off so you won't even know that you've, you've subscribed at the end of the day. But it all helps the channel. Um, like the channel, like the content as well. Thumbs up, that really helps the channel. Put a thumbs down if you, if you wish, because I know that some people uh, have done that just out of spite. You know who you are. Um, and I know who you are <laughs> but yeah anyway if, if you've got sort of cr constructive criticism and stuff like that then I I'll embrace that but you, you start being a dick all I can say is watch out so yeah the guys that went to Spain with there was uh, 14 of us uh, 15 including Richie and I just I tell you what it, it would just it would it were brilliant and I'm definitely going to be doing that again the weather wasn't the greatest in it at times, um, but I still got out of it what I wanted to get out of it. And some of the sort of moods that I saw as well in the mountains with the low hanging cloud and stuff was just exceptional. And I would have seen that had it been sort of clear day and stuff. But yeah, that, it was just brilliant. And uh, thank you, mate, Richie and Gaz and everybody and all the team for making that so special for me. Friends for life. I'm going to meet some of you again at the, uh, the ABR. Um, so, not ABR, sorry, Wild Bad. And I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Oh, how it goes In this stubborn town No one seemed to know How to get around We say what we are and we do what we teach Let me preach in my world Oh, how it goes Say something Anything <laughs> and I'll tell you what as well, if anybody's been to Picos and you've come away and you've not really enjoyed it or you've been on one of the wild bad um, Picos trips and you've come away and not really took anything away from it I'll tell you something you definitely do take away from it if, if nothing else, you definitely take experience because I think it makes you a better rider because some of them roads are phenomenal um, and you can really sort of push your limits on those roads because they're brilliant there's not many cars it's just they're fantastic so smooth yes I know a lot of you would spank it up here but I'm not a lot of you and I'm just enjoying it no need to spank it everywhere is there really Yeah, I'll just take you down here, look at this here. I know I've been down this plenty of times, but there's probably people who have not seen them videos, so. But this is home moss. The only problem with these sort of roads, if you come from far and wide to come and ride these roads, you've, um, it's not really, it doesn't really last very long, this road. 
so you have to do I mean round here you've got over the other side anyway you've got snake pass you've got woodhead pass you've got what I call the devil's elbow up before that you know the, that goes down into Glossop at the foot of snake pass and there's so many sort of nice roads there's the strines and you can get a bit of a loop going on and, and that's what you're probably best doing if you come up here I remember once and I think it was up here I came up here and when I lived in Nottingham and I came up on this road and I had a 4x4 and it's one of them things 4x4 can do anything and I literally I'll show you if there's no cars coming I took it up I took it up there <laughs> that gate wasn't there then that was many years ago and I took it right up uh, and let's put it this way I didn't get much past that gate and I absolutely shit myself and it must have took me three hours to turn the car around because I didn't want to reverse it back because I felt like because it was reversing back I didn't have much control with it and it was just sliding so I had to try and turn it round up the top but that many years ago that god it's got to be 20 odd years ago that so there's the seat original part and this is the uh, the rally seat it's funny how we always do that, isn't it? We get something new. It's like shoes, get a little mark on it. You just have to keep wiping it. And then after about two weeks, you don't give a crap, do you? But uh, these tyres, these Pirelli STRs, they were, they've been absolutely brilliant around Spain. Um, didn't lose any grip at all. We had some torrential rain one day. And they were brilliant. They're brilliant off-trail as well. Uh, absolutely brilliant. So this is the seat. It's like, as you can see, it's like a three-quarter seat. It's the original rally one. Um, and then this is like what you get with the seat and this fills that little hole that's left over that's not uh, rust by the way before you say anything that is actually copper grease um, anyway so so you get that with it that little plate I know that you can get like just a single seat and you can get the full plate as well which is just like a luggage plate but I didn't want that but I do like the look of that I think it uh, suits the bike better than your big seats although that if I go on a long tour Depending on how this performs, um, I'll probably use that one. And then this rack, this is like the original rack, but I don't like how it hangs over like that. And I have actually spotted one that stops there and comes in is a bit shorter. So I've actually ordered that as well. Um, so that'll look, that'll look good on there. Obviously, I know about the car per ride. So on this car per ride, this is the one that's set up for the BMW. So it sits in the cradle. And if I press this... See that? I've actually changed the startup screen so it doesn't just say carp your ride on it. How cool is that? And uh, Peaky Biker, thank you mate. He has sent me um, the attachment, like I think it's 3D AM attachment, that you can put your Garmin XTT XT2 on. So if I go abroad, I'm not using the data off my phone for, for, um, for maps because obviously this talks to my phone. So I can just put that on there well, I can attach it to the plate and then I just switch them out. Got the screen, Puig screen. I think I showed you that last time. It's just a bit wider than the original one that I had on. Also, and I've got this, I forgot about this. This headlight cover here, it is supposed to be, you can get one from uh, a bike thing, I think, that's, that's actually mirrored. That is supposed to have some reflection on it, but to me, it looks more sort of tinted. Um, but I actually quite like it. I like it. And if I turn that on there you go and you, you get loads of different attachments so that's the yellow one you get a blue one and you get the red one i think and an orange one akropovic the original bmw motad one or the the setup akropovic uh thought that was a scratch then don't want to be seeing any of them on there just yet and then i've just ragged out the um the baffles caught this one a little bit pulling it out because I didn't know how to do it at that point. But basically what you do is you take them two bolts out. There's two welded nuts holding the baffles in. Just get a little... Um, I just use one of them sort of like little Dremel things that you get. You know, ground down the, the weld. And then they just pull out. Just unscrew and pull out. Um, it's just that easy. But I've damaged one of mine because I didn't know how to do it originally. So hope, hopefully if you guys want to want to do that, it's, it's just really easy, honest. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Oh, that's the other thing. So on my side racks here, I've got the original, um, the tubed side racks, 
which come out here but I'm going to be using soft luggage so on this side it doesn't matter because I've got like the toolbox that sits there but on this side I've got a plate uh, I think it's called go gravel 49.99 from eBay and basically how you how it's got a hole in there this plate just covers that and it and it follows the contour as well of it so it's just a, a plate that acts as a, a shield a heat shield and then you can just strap your bags to it without any issue whatsoever so i'll, I'll look forward to uh, to trying that out um i've just got the lomo bags the big lomo bags and i've got some rhino walk bags as well so i don't know which ones i'll be using yet <laughs> So yeah, so I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know where my head's at. I just don't know what to do um, about the whole vlogging thing and bringing the content and riding the bike. I just feel like I've just got no interest whatsoever. But yeah, please subscribe. It will help the channel. So getting some good traction anyway. So, but like, share, comment, subscribe. That would be absolutely fantastic and that would definitely put me on the right track. The right frame of mind to make sure make, this is all worth it. Because at least half of you who watch these videos aren't subscribed. So remember guys, it doesn't matter who you are, what you ride, or where you're from. Because every day is an adventure. Crazy out.